Good day, learners! Welcome to Grade 4 Online Class. I am Wilfred Caras, your teacher in mathematics. Before we start our class, let us bow our heads and feel the presence of the Lord. O God Almighty, behold us the loving children, offering day to day our works and studies. Help us, dear Lord, to be obedient to our teachers, kind to our companions, diligent to our studies, that we may merit the blessings of ourselves, our school, and our beloved country, the Philippines. Amen. Learners, we are now in Quarter 4, Week 3, Module 3, and our lesson for this day is all about volume of solid figures and solving routine and non-routine problems on volume of rectangular prism. Good day, Grade 4 learners! This module deals with lessons on volume. When you want to know the number of marbles that are in a container, you speak of volume. When you want to know the amount of water that a container holds, you are talking of volume. Lessons in this module include visualizing volumes using non-standard and standard units. You will also have opportunities to find the volume of rectangular prisms and solve routine and non-routine problems on the volume of rectangular prisms. After going through this module, you are expected to visualize the volume of solid figures in different situations using non-standard and standard units. Find the volume of a rectangular prism using cubic centimeters and cubic meters. Solve routine and non-routine problems involving the volume of a rectangular prism. Solving routine and non-routine problems involving the volume of a rectangular prism. In this lesson, you will be dealing with routine and non-routine problems on volume of rectangular prism. A routine problem is a type of problem with an immediate solution. A non-routine problem is any complex problem that requires some degree of creativity or originality to solve. These problems can be solved in multiple ways. Before we start the lesson, try to answer the following activity. For letter A, find the volume. Match column A to column B. Connect it with the line. Now kids, let's study these problems. For letter A, a cabinet measures 60 cm long, 30 cm wide, and 120 cm high. What is the volume? For letter B, a wooden cube has a volume of 1,000 cubic centimeter. How many 10 cubic centimeter cubes can you cut from it? How will you solve these problems? For letter A, use the four-step plan in solving the problem. The first one, the first step, understand. Know what is asked in the problem. The answer is the volume of the cabinet. Know the given facts. Here are the givens. L or length is equal to 60 cm. Width is equal to 30 cm. Height is equal to 120 cm. Number 2. Plan. Determine the operation or formula to use. The formula that we need to use is multiplication. Volume is equal to length times width times height. Number 3. Solve. Show the solution using the formula. Volume is equal to length times width times height and then let's apply. 16 cm is the length times 30 cm is the width and times 120 cm and that is the height. So what is the answer? Very good. 216,000 cubic cm. And number 4. Check and look back. You can use calculator to check your answer. State the complete answer. The volume of the cabinet is 216,000 cubic centimeters. And that is the answer. Very good, kids. 
And for letter B, or in problem B, since the volume of the wooden box is given, just divide it by 10 cubic centimeter. 1,000 cubic centimeter divided by 10 cubic centimeter is equal to, very good kids, 100 pieces. Now kids, let's try this. Directions. Read the problems and answer the questions that follow. For letter A, Angela has a box measuring 35 cm long, 20 cm wide, and 20 cm high. If she will store rice in it, how many cubic centimeter of rice will it contain? For number 1, what is asked in the problem? Number 2, what facts are given? Number 3, what operation or formula will be used? Number 4, how is the solution done? And number 5, what is the answer? For letter B, Tess used a balikbayon box which has a length of 70 cm, a width of 60 cm, and a height of 50 cm to pack some of her things to bring home. What is the volume of things she can place inside the box? Number 1. What is asked in the problem? Number 2. What facts are given? Number 3. What operation or formula will be used? Number 4. How is the, how is the solution done? And number 5. What is the answer? And to deepen our knowledge, remember this. To solve word problems, use the 4-step plan. Number 1. Understand. Know what is asked and identify the relevant facts. Number 2. Plan. Choose the operation or the formula to use. And number 3. Solve. Perform the strategy. And number 4. Check and look back. Verify if the answer is correct and state the complete answer. Now let's apply your skills. Direction. Read and solve. A fish vendor from Barangay Santa Rita Central delivered 10 crates of fish. One crate measures 80 cm by 70 cm by 80 cm. What is the volume of fish inside the crate? Number 1. What is asked in the problem? Number 2. What facts are given? Number 3. What operation or formula will be used? Number 4. How is the solution done? And number 5. What is the answer? Let's do it independently. This part will also serve as the performance task of online asynchronous class. For letter A, directions, read the problem, encircle the letter of the correct answer. I'll give you a few minutes to finish this activity. And for letter B, read and solve. I'll give you a few minutes to finish this activity. That's all for today class. Stay safe and always obey your parents. See you again class. Bye!